The ceremonial mace dates back to medieval times and was used to assert monarch authority. As an institution of academic excellence, Wilson High School has incorporated the ceremonial mace in its graduation exercises. The Wilson High School mace was designed and crafted by math teacher Mr. Ronald Bowser. It bears two medallions, the Wilson High School mascot and the crest. The mace will be used to signify the beginning and ending of the graduation ceremony. The 2019-2020 bearer of the mace is Student Government Association President Jakiria Lewis. Good morning. We would like to welcome you to the 2020 graduation ceremony. We thank our parents and family members of the class of 2020. We thank the parents and family members, the administration, faculty, and staff of Wilson High School who made this day possible. Before we begin our graduation ceremony, we would like to remind you that this graduation ceremony is a distinguished and respectful ceremony for all graduates and families. Please place your cell phones on vibrate or turn them off completely. During presentations, please hold your applause, remarks, and cheering. You are also asked to refrain from excited vehicles and blowing your car horns until each graduate has been recognized. These acts take away from each of our graduates who deserves due attention and your respect. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Please stand as we receive the administration of Wilson High School and the graduating class of 2020.
You may be seated. Good morning. On behalf of my fellow classmates, I am honored to welcome you to the, to the commencement exercise for the Wilson High School Class of 2020. We would like to thank you for coming out to show your support and celebrate our accomplishments with us this morning as we prepare to journey into the next stage of our lives. To Dr. O'Malley, Dr. Hall, and Dr. Robinson, as well as the staff of the Florence Center, a very special thanks to each of you for your vision, commitment, determination, and hard work in making this day possible. So many of us had serious doubt that we would not have the opportunity to experience the, this day of joy and celebration together, our 2020 graduation ceremony. Will you now please join me in the singing of our national anthem, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, of which our ceremony will follow as outlined. Will everyone please stand? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, of liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Isabella O. Yang is a salute graduate of the IB Diploma Program at Wilson High School. She is an active leader and member of many organizations in both Wilson and the larger Florence community. Isabella has served as the captain of the Wilson's varsity swim team, the president of the Spanish National Honor Society. She is also a member of the National Honor Society, mock trial team, and math team, and is a longtime volunteer at MUCS Florence. She is an established violinist in the Florence Symphony, Florence Youth Symphony, and Flair de Lee Strings Orchestras, a six-time All-State violinist, and has performed at the well-renowned Carnegie Hall and Sydney Opera House. She is a National Merit Scholarship finalist, Coca-Cola Scholarship semi-finalist, and a recipient of the Smith College Book Award and the GE Star and SC State Fair Scholarships, among others. Isabella is the daughter of Amy O'Yang and the late Dr. Winting O'Yang and has two older sisters, Olivia and Emily, both whom are proud Wilson alumni, now working at the Harvard Medical School affiliated Daniel Farber Cancer Institution and studying as the President's List Honor Rising Senior at the University of South Carolina, respectively. After much debate amongst Duke University, the University of South Carolina Honors College and Clemson Honors College, she has decided to attend University of South Carolina Honors College as one of the select few chosen to participate in the rigorous Game Caught Pharmacy Assurance Program as a Doctor of Pharmacy's candidate. During our four years at Wilson, we, the class of 2020, have embarked on many adventures and made countless memories. Even with the high expectations for our senior year highlights, like the last prom, the last sports games, and the last academic competitions, this year turned out to be far more unforgettable than any of us could have ever imagined. 
We were managing heavy workloads, cherishing the last high school memories, and anticipating the end of a busy high school career, the beginning of the next chapter of our lives. Unexpectedly, March 13th became our last day of a normal high school experience, a sitting in teachers' classrooms or seeing our classmates. School was canceled for two weeks, then the month of April, and soon the rest of the year was lost to an international pandemic. The resulting uncertainty was understandably stressful and frustrating. Many questions arose like, how will we adapt to remote learning, and will we even have a graduation? These last couple months remind me of how life can be unpredictable and full of surprises. When I was four years old, my dad was diagnosed with a rare terminal cancer. My family practiced the strict but necessary hygiene to keep my dad, now immunocompromised, healthy for as long as possible. After a hard fought battle, he passed away. While we knew it was inevitable, and we had even managed to buy him a little more time, we were still unprepared for the major loss that has since impacted every facet of our lives. However, I still feel extremely fortunate because of my family and their ever-present love. My two older sisters have cared for me through thick and thin, always had my back, and supported me in all my endeavors. My mom is the most hardworking person I know. Anybody who knows her will tell you the same. Since my dad passed, she has pushed herself past any regular person's limits. Working as both a full-time engineer and a full-time mom and doing it all for my sisters and me. I am who I am today because of my family and I'm proud of how phenomenally we have handled everything life has thrown at us. Our class has demonstrated the same fortitude and tenacity despite the unforeseen circumstances of our unique, unprecedented situation. We have shown that we do not back down from challenges, that instead we face our obstacles head on and overcome them with grace and finesse. I urge you to appreciate your time with your loved ones and to continue to do your part to protect them because you never know when you might lose someone close to you. That being said, we all have people to thank for us being here today. Family, friends, mentors, someone we look up to, or a combination of them all. As I thank the people who have helped me get here, please make sure you appreciate those in your lives as well. First, thank you to our under-acknowledged school counselors and other staff members who oversee hundreds of rambunctious teenagers and break up the occasional food fight. And my bus driver, Mrs. Moldro, who helped me get an extra hour of much needed sleep in the mornings. Thank you to my teachers who have cared for my growth and success as a student. It truly means the world to me. Thank you also to friends made and lost over the years who have shaped my journey to this point in my life. To my violin teacher and her husband, Drs. Sherry and Benjamin Woods, and my late piano teacher, Ms. Linda McKenzie, thank you for instilling a greater passion for music in my sisters, me, and the Florence community. To the family and friends who were there when we needed you most, it means so much to have you in our lives. And thank you to Mrs. Sheila and Mr. Dennis for being the best adopted grandparents anyone could ask for. To my Jojo and Joma, thank you for always being there for my family and for all the wonderful care packages from Taiwan. To my sisters, Olivia and Emily, words cannot express how thankful I am to have you two as my siblings. For us, there is no bond stronger than family. Please know I love you more than anything in the world. To my dad, though my time with you was cut short, I still cherish every memory I had with you. Thank you for the Andre Ryu concerts we watched together, playing hide and seek with me, even though I hid in the same place every time, and for the butterfly kisses every night before bed. But most importantly, thank you for being my role model. I hope I am making you proud. And finally, to my mom, 
Thank you so much for everything you do. Even though a simple thank you will never be enough for how much you have done for and inspired in everyone around you, especially Olivia, Emily, and me. I hope one day I can do the same for you and be even half the woman you are. Now I'm sure some graduates are begging for me to end this speech already, so I will finish with a final message. No matter where we go next year, whether it be higher education, the workforce, the military, or even an unknown destination. Remember the many ups and downs we have gone through to get to this point. Don't stop at a low because there's always something to look forward to. To quote the K-pop group BTS, the morning will come again. No darkness, no season is eternal. I am certain us tigers will persevere through these times together and continue to accomplish great things with our proven resilience. Congratulations, Wilson Class of 2020. We did it. Rebecca Liu is the daughter of David Liu and daughter of Lucia Wong. She is a member of the mock trial team and the captain of the academic challenge team and the math team. A National Merit Scholar, she is also a member of the National Beta Club, National Honor Society, and National German Honor Society. A classically trained violinist, Rebecca has participated in the South Carolina All Region and All State Orchestras and performed at Carnegie Hall. She is a member of Wilson's Varsity Girls Tennis Team and has been a captain of the team for the past three years. She wore a bronze medal in the girls' doubles division at the 2016 International Children's Games in Taiwan and also competed in the 2019 North-South All-Star Girls Tennis Classic. As an avid language learner, Rebecca received a bronze medal in the United States round of the International German Olympiad and was also the recipient of the prestigious AATG PAG Travel Award and all expense paid study trip to Germany. Advocating for cultural mindset learning, she was a speaker at the 2018 Ted Evans Streets Conference. In her free time, Rebecca volunteers at the Florence Tennis Center as a certified assistant coach and also volunteers at the community as a member of the Florence County Team, Florence County Team Council. She will be on a pre-medical track with a German minor at Duke University in the fall. Good morning guests, faculty, administration, and Wilson's graduating class of 2020. I'd like to start by sharing a fond memory of a class discussion in seventh grade. Some of my classmates used to joke that our class motto should be, we might not have 2020 vision, but we can definitely see ourselves graduating in 2020. Well, here we are, class of 2020, finally, today is our day. But let's take a moment to think about that statement we made when we were just 13 years old. I don't think any one of us truly understood the importance of having vision. I, for one, didn't realize until this year that without vision, we often delay or even miss opportunities for success. Now, anyone who knows me knows that tennis is my passion. This sport has taught me countless lessons, but nothing compares to the biggest lesson I've learned this year about exceeding the vision. My teammate and our fellow graduate here today, Kamari Hudson, is the polar opposite of me. Before a match, you could always find her happily chattering away, challenging teammates to an apple slice eating competition. I, on the other hand, would be agonizing over my tennis strokes. Because of this vast difference between us, Kamari and I never envisioned to be doubles partners. That is, until this year. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Coach Davis paired us together. Now, I initially thought that our contrasting personalities would clash on the court, leading to disaster. But to our amazement, Kamari's relaxed personality lessened my uptight demeanor, while my serious attitude increased her focus. You see, my lack of vision delayed our chance to become a powerful duo, one that pushed us to improve ourselves. Fortunately, with this unexpected partnership, we not only achieved our vision, but we also exceeded it 
winning every tie-breaking doubles match this season, and fighting our way to the third round of playoffs. Because of this lesson I've learned in the importance of vision, I challenge everyone in the class of 2020 not only to have the vision, but to also exceed the vision, to achieve more than you set out to do. And on this graduation day, I'm so proud to say that we've already done so in the past four years. From our football team becoming city champs, to historic state championship appearances by basketball, academic challenge team, mock trial, cross country, band, and so many others, our class accomplishments are proof of the visions that have carried us here today. But we couldn't have exceeded our visions without the efforts and support of our parents, families, teachers and administrators, and the entire Wilson community. And for that, I'd like to take a moment to thank them. From reciting Mark Antony's monologue in Ms. Hoffler's class and joking with Mr. Bowser as freshmen, to learning L'Hopital's rule in Ms. Cribb's class as juniors, to discussing existentialism in Ms. Goldstein's class through Zoom as seniors, we've never stopped learning. Although, Dr. Robinson, I think you and the teachers might have done too good of a job with e-learning because none of the seniors were able to pull off our senior skip day this year. But I'd especially like to thank my three biggest role models. My mom, whom I no longer have to address as Dr. Wong. My dad, who taught me my very first tennis lesson. And Ben, my big brother, who is a fellow Wilson graduate. Now, even though I ruined Ben's dream to be an only child, I've looked up to him all my life in more ways than one. In fact, when I was a toddler, my mother heard me crying in the living room. Confused, she walked in on a mischievous bent, holding my sippy cup high over my head while I was jumping up and down trying to reach it. Well, in this instance, I was physically looking up to him rather than admirably. But reflecting back on it now, I think Ben had taught me my very first lesson in exceeding the vision by always ensuring to set the bar high. And by the way, you know I eventually got holes in that sippy cup. But now that it is our graduation day and we've reached our vision, I ask, what now? How will we exceed our next vision? During this time of great uncertainty, I understand how hard it must be to envision the future. Nevertheless, I encourage you, class of 2020, to use this time as an opportunity of reflection. Reflect on the transformations you've undergone during your time walking through the Kate Hall or sipping your Fill My Cup coffee from Ms. Andrew's class. Reflect on what your next vision will be. And then maybe learn that TikTok dance you've always wanted to learn. And when we have the opportunity to move forward again, when we emerge into this new world, you'll be on track to exceeding your visions once more. But most importantly, no matter how far you go, no matter how clear your vision for the future might be, never forget that once a tiger, always a tiger. Thank you. Lawrence Timmons was born on Wednesday, May 14th, in 1986 in Florence, South Carolina. He attended Wilson High School, where he played football and ran track. He played tight end on offense and linebacker on defense. During his senior season, he registered over 150 tackles and two sacks. He also caught 47 passes for over 800 yards and five touchdowns. And in track and field, he competed in a long jump event where he recorded a career-best leap of 6.55 meters at the 2003 South Carolina State Championship, where he came in sixth place. He was also a member of the 4x1 and 4x200 meter relay squads, and he ran a 4.64 yard dash. Mr. Timmons played college football at Florida State, and he was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers 15th overall in the 2007 draft. He would later win Super Bowl 43 against the Arizona Cardinals. And Mr. Timmons played for 11 years in the NFL, 10 with Pittsburgh and one in Miami, and he retired with the Dolphins in 2018. During his time in the NFL, Timmons really enjoyed returning to his roots in Florence, South Carolina where he hosted free football youth camp and donated year after year. Mr. Timmons currently resides in North Carolina. He has three children, three children, twins, Luke and Leah, 10, who are 10 years old, and Lawrence Jr., who is 12. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet and welcome Wilson's very own Mr. Lawrence Timmons. Uh, 
uh, first of all, I'll say uh, it's an honor. Congratulations. Um, um, I just want to say, like, uh, you know, just originally being here, uh, you know, you guys going through what you've been through, just coming here just to help out uh, is a, a true inspiration. Like, uh, like, uh, just know, like, just going through your problems and everything, like, uh, this COVID thing, you know, it should really motivate you and just, uh, and just build from that. And, um, you know, I'm just letting you know I came from Florence, uh, you know, uh, so long ago, 04 class, and just to come back here and, and just say something just to motivate you guys is everything. Like, uh, you know, I'm not the best with words, but it's just the honor. And, uh, you know, just me being here should show you that uh, anything is possible. And um, anything can come true. And, um, you know, just coming from high school, that's the foundation, right? Like, uh, you're going to grow up and, and, and go through things, but just remember those high school years because that's what really made you. And uh, just know you have something to go through in those uh, dark times. And just, uh, you know, uh, thanks for the, uh, you know, just thanks for this time. Just thanks for everything. And just uh, keep it going. And uh, congratulations. On the behalf of Class of 2020, we would like to present Lawrence Timmons with this plaque. In order to provide a meaningful recognition, of all high school graduates. Florence One Schools recognizes students' outstanding academic achievement by Board of Trustees, double and single court scholars. Students earning a grade point average of 3.0 or higher are recognized at this time as honor graduates. Board of Trustees scholars are students who have earned a grade point average between 4.5 and 5.87. Graduates who obtain a double cord are students who have earned a grade point average between 4.0 and 4.49. Graduates who obtain a single cord are students who have earned a grade point average between 3.0 and 3.999. Marshals, take your place. Justina Marissa Adams. Kimuel Rakeem Arthur. Rakeem Kentrell Austin. Rachelle Nashelle Austin Connor. Bianca Armani Bacchus. Andrea Tamara Baco. Jamitra Shanice Baco. Demarcus Levante Bale. Evan Lewis Barnes. Imani Simone Barnwell. Matthew David Healy. Jalen Isaiah Healy. Toby Ross Bellamy. Jack Oliver Belt.
Justin Marquez Benjamin. Adam Wilson Bessinger. Janiah Tiana Bishop. Lloyd Alistair Bonds. Tyrese Terrell Bostic. Laquavion DeMarquel Bozeman. Callie Hunter Brewer. Courtney Nicole Bridges. Yolanda Arlenia Bridges. Cassidy Alana Brody. Javen Terrance Walter Brown. Roshanae Destiny Brown. Zakara Donithia Brown. Nathan Bryant. Taimani Indica Cleveland Burgess. Wilson High School is posthumously awarding a high school diploma to Tyrell Burgess. Nyla Shea Butcher. William Austin Kadir. Hakeem Raymond Kane. Davion Maurice Caldwell. Shamaya Denise Calloway. Kadeja Myera Campbell. Solomon Hagen Frank Campo Rice. Tayan Rajay Daquan Cannon. Abigail Grace Cato. Carson Lane Coffin. Brianna Christina Charles. Alexandra Chernev. Desire Monique Co. Kenneth Arthur Collins. Imogen Maria Cook. Jali Euclid Cottingham. Haley Calicia Davis. Lori Colleen Davis. Benjamin Russell De La Pina.
Nigeria, Danesha Dickey. William Philip Diggs III. Kayla Ayana Dixon. Tristan J. Doherty. Taryn Sierra DuBose. Ariel Gwendolyn Durant. Caitlin Deantrice Edwards. Carita Renee Enoch. Rosanna Oil Irvin. Andre Tava Evans. Rakaya Zaire Evans. Thomas Kenneth Fail. Justin Devante Falk. Hunter James Floyd. Darren Chandler Ford. Carlin Jocelyn Nicole Foster. Sean Jamel Freeman. Jules Elaine Frock. Christian Ryan Gay. Janaya Mache Garris. Duran Lorenzo Gaskins. Diamond Zykeria Gaskins. Kalea Debray Gauls. Brianna McKenzie Gale. Seth Randall Gaiman. Akeem Shaquan Gibson. Kyle Seth Grind. Irvin Jesus Gonzalez Soto. Destiny Michelle Graves. Jawil Nigel Gray. E. Troy Jalen Green. Jacoby Green. James Benjamin Green. Jaquan Marquise Green. Jacorian Devante Groover.
Cassidy Elizabeth Gunn. Cody Ellis Gunn. Diamond Monet Harris. Kahim Joseph Malik Harrison. Michaela Jaisha Tone Harrison. Stephanie Taisha Harrison. Elizabeth Britton Hedger. Eli Matthew Logman Colshrew. Mequez Damon Valentino Knight. Tremaine Jordan King. Sammy Lee King. Jarrell Deontay King. Akiva Catherine Kennedy. Alexis DeVega Patriqua Kelly. Patrick Quentin Casper. Talisha Renee Jordan. Zamir Saban Johnson. Andrew Michael Jackson. Reagan Latrell Jackson. Denise James. Ahmad Rashad James. Kanaya Lanaya James. Jared Hill James. Tashawn Montrell James. Xavier Edward Jemison. Joyce Yenna G. Ephraim Zimbulist Johnson II. Kirk Duval Johnson. Timothy Haiwe Johnson.
Rebecca Ann Liu. Isabella Wei Chi Oyang. Jakira Kyra Lewis. Jordan Denesha Manigo. Yavin Miles Smith. Mary Ellen McDonald. Joseph Simon Nobles. Desaria Charme McFadden. Zarania Calandra McFadden. Leonte Alan Jabri Hunter. Jeremiah Christopher Hunter. Justin Curtis Huntucker. Kamari Brianna Hudson. Shekana Denitra Howard. Melissa Ann Hopper. Alexis Canyete Henson. Naquasia Moshe Hickson. Jaheem Cavante Hickson. Thomas Wyatt Hicks. Curtis Cole Henderson. Tyrese Elajuan Lassane. Anthony Antonia Lariano Sandy Chisho Lin Carmen Ivana Lowry Kerry Lenard Manigo. Savannah Nicole Martin. Brianna Tyra Mason. Kelvin Tremaine McAllister. Michaelia Zanaja McBride.
Amaya Magneta McCall. Jonathan McClary. Mackenzie Nijay McDaniel. Jermaine Lamont McDonald. Madison Shanae McCray. Raquan Taqib McCormick Johnson. Jasmine Nicole McClellan. Taryn Charnay Morer. Nadej Jennifer Morera. Ishmael Moses. Sean Khalid Moses. Kendall Earl Moses. William Reed Mosley. Jamin Damon James Muldrow. Ayante Marquise Small. Sarah Elizabeth Small. Austin Milo Smith. Ethan James Strickland. Darius Talik Swinton. Chengi Tan. Imani Monet Taylor. Hakeem Jamal Taylor. Morgan Elise Thomas. Isabel Lynn Thompson. Deshaun Timmons. Michaela Cynthia Timmons. Hunter Jason O'Neill. Kirian Olivia Page. Austin Allen Parnell. Madeline Chloe Parrott.
Shalak Patel. James Keyshawn Paul. Jalasha Serenity Quillen. Jacoby Legrand Quillen. Benesha Shanisha Richardson. Megan Elizabeth Roberts. Timothy Melquan Robinson. Caitlin Christina Ross. Tiana Shiana Rouse. Devon Quantrell Simon. Kaija Scipio. Anthony Michael Santiana. Keith Madison Sanders. Carrie Lynn Russell. Randall Andrew McKay. Michaela Nicole McLeod. Peyton Elizabeth McLeod. Dejana Tashiana McLeod Cauldron. Quadesia Janice McNeil Blakeney. Loyal Lanice McQueen. Jarve Liddell McCray. Ashley Nicole O'Connor. Alyssa Lynn Noonan. Denzel Emmanuel Neesmith. Tasia Jamora Meyer. Lakivia Tayana Muldrow. Emmanuel Serato Apricio. Jitravius Escari Sherls. Hunter Gage Shoemake. Morgan Alexandria Singleton. Yes, 
Javante Zafirius Vanderhall. Janesha Ianara Washington. Jarvis Jamal Washington. Tanise Shatavis Washington. Mary Elizabeth Watts. Kentiana Ajanique White. Markeo Cornishon White. Tyler Jamarcus Whitesett. Dianya Latisse Williams. Jacoby Leonardo Williams. Jeremiah David Williams. Shadimon Lanice Williams. Denez Trevor Wilson. Zakiah F. Wilson. Nori Jawan Wingate. Liana Lucky Wong. Jaheem Lorenzo Woods. Xavier Alexander Wright. Brianna Young. Deanna Young. Giovanni Karik Emiari Zimmerman. For the Wilson High School Class of 2020, please stand. Okay, graduates, you can be seated. I promise you I'm going to get you out here in the next...
two minutes if you be quiet. First, I would like to thank Dr. O'Malley, Mr. Hall, all of the district office staff who helped put this together. This truly was an amazing effort to put together. We were delayed, but we would not, we would not lose. We were gonna have this day. I wanna thank all the board members who came out today to support us and to thank the board for making us not only the greatest district in Florence, but the greatest district in this state and this country. So I wanna thank the board for doing that as well. Before we go, it is always a tradition that we give out an award called the Tiger Award. And it's given to the student, the senior, a senior in the student body, in the student class, in the senior class, that's voted upon by the seniors. That exemplifies the true Tiger spirit in academics and in service to the school. It is my pleasure to give this award to the, in this class of 2020 to Hakeem Kane. I would like to also thank Mr. Timmons for taking time out of his day to come speak with us. Mr. Timmons, you're always welcome here at Wilson. As we say, once a tiger, always a tiger. Special thanks to his mom and dad for coming out too. Let's give them a hand. Again, seniors, seniors, listen to me. We've been through a lot this year, especially these last two or three months. I want you to know that even though this was rough, we taught you how to be tigers. and We taught you how to overcome anything. I want you to know, as long as I'm alive and breathing, I'm always here for you. I love each and every one of you, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Never forget where you came from. Go out into this world and use the knowledge, skills, and character we taught you at dear old Wilson High and make this world a better place. Marshals, at this time, please take your place. We're asking all graduates to please rise for the playing of the alma mater. After the playing of the alma mater by the almighty Tiger Production, we will dismiss. Voices, praises unfold, held the purple and the gold. Let songs of gladness rise to the sky for dear old Wilson High and try to show.